Let's see if you get any hops. Mm. Oh, the head's creamy. So we'll decide tonight what we're going to do. Drama, drama, drama. It's our first ever big drama. at this brewery. I'm gonna go inside and check out a few of their brews. Thomas Rice Lager Collab. Um, we've got a socializer. Or socializer. Number two is socializer. We've got first point pale ale. Yeah. And the builders. Okay. So very light beers. Right, this one is a rice beer. 20% um, of the brew is rice. Um, it adds the alcoholic content without adding any residual sugar. Keeps it light and crisp. What's it called? It's called the Thomas Wright Rice Lager Collab. Because it's a, it's a collaboration between Thomas Surfboards and Land and Sea. Oh, it smells like that wine we've been brewing. I have got a cold. So it's got nothing. It's it's like the it tastes a bit like sushi. It's just a rice part. In fact, it tastes like rice. It's very light alcoholic content, which is alright. Not much head on it. Um, ice cold. Oh, you've got ice crystals growing here. But not bad. It's about a... Uh, three and a half. So, it's still Wendy Reagan. What are you ringing with? Well, had a quick sniff, had a quick taste. Nada. Two. Numbers? Two. Two. Nothing. Whoa, not a good start. No. Pretty dead. I want to try a proper one now. I'm going to try number two. Keep it rolling. Is number, number two, two mine? It's a socialiser. Is that the one I ordered? Yeah. Okay, socialise socialiser. All right. And we're here with our friends, Jason and Gillian. Uh, viewers and uh, now good friends and they are now boat owners. <laughs> so they just came up from Sydney with a new boat and looking forward to learning how to sail and uh, just see the world as we do. <laughs> so cheers guys, thanks for bringing us here. Very good. Right, what do you got, Went? Socialiser. And it is a well-rounded mid-strength beer, rich gold colour. Well, it's a gold colour. That's about the only thing I can say about it right now. It's got a very simple malt bill, so Nothing. not too complex. Uh, it's, uh, it's better than the other one. It's, it's a bit of a... Um, <laughs> Session beer, maybe. Session beer. Yeah, yeah probably about a six. Yeah. I sort of like the other beers at the other place. They were thicker, heavier, richer, but they're very light. Yeah, about a six. You know, the first time you give your kids a lemon, same sort of feeling. Do you want to do the next one then? That's uh, two, one. Oh wow, okay. Alright, next one. Which is uh, first point pale ale. Let's see if you get any hops. <laughs> mm. 
I do have a cold. I do have a cold, <laughs> so I might not be fair to the beer. Nah. See what you think when, and then I'll see what number you give it. That smells better than the last one. Yeah, I think it's because I got a cold. They're getting better. I don't know what I said for the last one, that one's probably about four. So uh, I've got the Builders beer. It's a 4.6. Um, it's brewed for the hard working tradesmen. Nothing. So you gotta knock it down quick. Tiny bit better than the last one, but it's not, not a flavour in there. It's just, it's just a bit average. So maybe four and a half. Let's see what you think. Oh, yeah, it's got more, it's got, it smells, it's got um, an aroma, which is good. You know, when you're building a house. <laughs> And everything goes over time, like the builder spends an extra four months there and and the price is like twice what they quoted. That's because they want to go down the pub every day and extend the the contract. Because this beer is the sort of beer you would have after a hard day at work. You can just bash it down, good for out fishing. You, know, you can bash two or three of these down between fish. Um, that is not a bad builder's beer. It's a good beer, it's the best we've had of, out of these four. Uh, it's about a seven, so uh, yeah, you could drink that after work easily. Kolsch? It's Kolsch, then super a pale. super pale. Then the Bay IPA. The and then this is a brown. It's not on here. Oh, it's oh. only 4.4. You've got a special one. Yeah, you said the only other one we've got is the brown. Okay. So I left the best to last. That is what head should look like. So that's a Kolsch, my least favourite of all beers. Apart from that one from Angry Goats I Brewery. Say, that, oh, like that, that one. was incredible. It's a Kolsch. What can you say? Kolsch is Kolsch. It's a perfect replica of a bad beer. Um, being a bit negative, but I'm not a big Kolsch fan. Wendy loves it. So, um, if, it's, if we're rating this on its, um, its originality, or are we rating this on its closeness to what it is claims to be? If it's, we're rating this on its closeness to what it claims to be, it's a nine. But on originality, it's about a two. So um, that's this one. Give it a crack, when? Yeah. Is that me? <laughs> Can I pass? Can you pass? <laughs> you never pass. <laughs> yeah, I pass. In England, if it's in the winter time and they're pouring beer, you should get a poker out of the fire and you put it into your beer, or a red hot poker, to bring it back to a normal cellar temperature, which is where the flavours all come out. Yeah. Yeah. It's a lot, it's quite a lot, it's very ancient art, making beer. I'm not, I'm still learning. Yeah, I've only been tasting beer for 10 years. This, is a super pale. So let's hope, it's not the right colour for super pale, but let's hope it lives up to its, with a super pale you should be able to not even get it to your mouth and bang, you should get a hit of all the, the hops coming through and the bitterness and so. That's all I've got to say about that. It's, these beers, are, there's a lot of palates that they are really suited to. Just light, 
light little bits of flavour and then they'll have one with heaps of bang and um, but unfortunately we developed our, our palate in England where their beers are just so bold that they knock you over not in alcohol content but in boldness yeah As I'm drinking all these, I'm eyeing off this brown ale. No, I'm doing that one. Oh. That, that, right, this has got... This has got bitterness. This has got beer flavour. It's um, like a well-rounded VB. So it's... Uh, Australians will know what I'm talking about. Um, yeah. Alright, last one. Brown ale. Oh, the head's creamy. If it was a little bit warmer, it would have a lot more character. So yeah, that's, this is the best beer of the place. It suits my palate. Uh, nothing wrong with the other beers, just they're not what I enjoy. Cheers, this is a seven and a half. It's about six in the morning. We're just leaving the uh, colloquially known Dutch pond on the Malula River. And we're heading north to... They're trying to get to Double Island Point today. It's about 50 odd miles, so it's a fair way. There's not much wind. Um, and there's nowhere to stop on the way. No, so, we'll so see how we might, get on. might get in at dark. That's the duck pond. With a lot of dead ducks. And neglected ducks. And sunken duck. Very sad. And very dangerous because they do tend to float around in the night and hit other boats. These two are still stuck together. Yeah, look at this. Rubbing each other up. about to get to the bar and uh, pretty smooth today com flat. compared to last time <laughs> well, look at that see not much going on there very busy place where's he turning oh yeah then the fin slap never seen that happen that much before double Well, that was the pattern before. Fin, 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 double, then out. It's so long. Fins. Yeah. So they're spinning around as they're on the surface. That's why they're the fin. Fin. And out. Good morning, Kay. Very rolly. Not enough wind to keep us straight. Yeah, we're just flapping around. Oh, Listen, wow. oh no. What do you think of sailing, Chili? Chili boy? Well, that's what Chili thinks of sailing. Peppa, what do you think of sailing? Yeah, that's what Peppa thinks of sailing. They love it. Sandy Straits, uh, Fraser Island on our right, mainland on our left, and it was blowing 35 odd knots in the sand that we just left up there. It was a big fetch, uh, it was just tight on, tight on wind, it was absolutely horrible, so Wendy and I made the call, let's get out of here. So. Um, we picked another anchorage, which is in the lee of Fraser Island, because it's even going to get windier this afternoon and tonight. 
and then there was this big storm and anyway. Um, so we're gonna go and poke into this little anchorage. Hopefully as we swing around the corner, the wind will drop from um, about 25 at the moment or 20 down to something reasonable. And then we'll tuck in amongst the mangroves, get a little anchorage and wait for this blow to get around um, and get over. We've got no motor. I mean, we've got motor. Motor runs fine. I'm charging batteries at the moment. But we've got full reverse, so if the proverbial hits a fan, we can usually we can get off the bottom. But we've got no, no forward propulsion. And a lot of research last night, a lot of testing, and our forward um, plates have gone in the gearbox. Um, we haven't even got any, any forward momentum. So we're using the dinghy tight on the side to get us up, like, up off the anchor and things at the moment. Uh, we're going to have another family meeting tonight, another boat meeting, and decide what to do about the gearbox. A new one's way out of our league. Um, I can repair it, it's no problems at all. I can soon repair it. Um, but I'd love, like to do it in my workshop. So we might end up doing a sail back home, get the gearbox out, rebuild it, and then continue doing some sailing um, around the Sundays and back down to the Curtis Coast. So that's, that's the thought at the moment, because yes, we can continue without a motor. I mean, hundreds of people do it. Captain Cook, Flinders, Parker, everyone did it. Um, but they also ran up on reefs and had lots of men in rowboats to help and stuff like that. Um, so we'll decide tonight what we're going to do. Drama, drama, drama. It's our first ever big drama, um, which isn't bad in two years. Uh, yeah, we're going to, we're already committed to doing the Great Sandy Strait because to get back out there through the bar without an engine. Um, idiotic. Um, so we're going to continue through the Great Sandy Straits, come out at the north of this island uh, in the place called Harvey Bay and then we'll either day hop or we'll make a beeline. Anyway, we'll let you know later what we decide. For now it's beautiful, no sun, it's, pour, it's not pouring rain, it's raining, um, but it's still a beautiful day. And uh, we're just cruising along, doing eight knots with only a mizzen and a stay still up. We're doing about three knots of tide. Yeah, life's pretty good. 